connect kids living with serious and chronic illness with college athletes with the purpose of forming lifelong bonds and life-changing outcomes. In year one, we had 17 children matched on 17 New England teams, and it really kind of took off from there. We have over 1,300 children matched, almost 500 colleges and universities, 47 states, and we've impacted almost 40,000 college athletes. One of the things families tell me over and over and over again is, it's so wonderful to have something to focus on that's not about being sick. There's an excitement here. It comes somewhere where it's really kind of just starting. We just had the one match, and to grow it to seven in a year was so awesome. We have one more addition to our 2017 signing class. Um, it's been on our radar since about March or April, uh, and it was a very tough decision for him, but he finally decided to commit to the University of Connecticut. Hey, in addition to being an incredible softball player, Abby is also a Girl Scout. She's earned her bronze award, which is pretty unbelievable. And we found that the best teams uh, are ne never have enough brave, uh, courageous, and tough people. Ultimately, when a child is kind of transitioning out of some of the most critical times of their medical journey, and they're ready to kind of start transitioning into um, normal social settings, we become that bridge for them. It is, again, as a team that we kind of work through this. And it's, a, it's a very powerful lesson, too, just to be grateful for what you have. And, and to really help others. At first, a lot of the teams may think they're giving a benefit for the child and the family, and the statement we always hear is, we've gotten way more out of this experience than the child or the family has put in. Unbelievable child that has battled neuroblastoma and has really come through on top to be able to tell the world that because of the team, he battled through it, he won. When Ashley had her draft day with the women's hockey team, and she had made CDs for all the players. So she walked around the locker room and gave everybody a CD of her favorite music. Grayson, who's on the baseball team, that there was a, a member of the team that was also battling cancer. And so they initially were bonded through that, that shared experience around grit and perseverance. Abigail was performing in a Christmas pageant. Teams were all away on break, but the coaches went and watched her production. Or you look at Maddox, who is on the soccer team, and you talk to his family, and you talk about how this was a complete game changer for him. And now these kids are not defined by their illness, but they have a purpose. They're teaching these college athletes about grit and perseverance and what a bad day looks like um, to inspire those around them. Well, my personal goal is to make UConn number one in the nation. Um, I would love to see that happen, and I think the possibility is real. We have several teams that we're working with right now to add to the seven. A lot of it you can't put into words until you see it in action. So I think that we're very proud about the partnership with UConn and uh, we hope to grow it and we hope to use it as a national model to be able to show the rest of the country what can happen if we do this the right way.